Hey there, so today I want to return to that wonderful world of anime, and I want to return to a prevalent theme that I'm noticing, regardless of whether it's voice actors, regardless of whether we're talking companies, or regardless of whether we're talking about mainstay media sources covering anime. This is the disrespect shown to consumers, reviewers, and on. Now this, it's become a theme that can crash a company, that can destroy media. Media. They can destroy voice actors, and they don't seem to mind. They don't seem to mind going out and talking trash, again, disrespecting people because of their opinions. No, they want to go out and bluster. They want to showcase how big and bad they are. And, well, the only people that fail by doing that are the very people that need you at the end of the day. Here we have Anime News Network talking trash yet again after striking someone for utilizing something in a fair use capacity. If you have never looked into fair use or transformative use, essentially what you have to do is go in and make a point with something. You can add something and then through transformative or additional use, you can go and make commentary or critique about it and that that was what was done with a certain thing that Anime News Network decided to flag. What they decided was they were going to pick on a certain person out there. In fact, they even announced it. You had this guy here, Anime ED, ANN's CEO, not the official ANN Twitter feed, by the way, noting that this guy, he actually went out and he had filed his first YouTube copyright claim today. Pretty sure the person I filed it against is going to make some noise about it. Can't wait. Why can't they wait? Well, because they have a hate on for a specific type of person. And that specific type of person, of course, they go out and they cover Vic related stuff. Why do I say that about them too? Well, because they have gone out of their way to say that they're avoiding these topics. They have gone out of their way since January to discuss this stuff over and over again. And while they're doing so, they talk about how great they are. They're the New York Times of this business. They're the CNN of anime. If you disagree with them on that, or if you mean that as some type of uh, insult, well then, you don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're throwing out. In fact, you know, you're probably one of those MRAs that are out there trying to drown out people. You're probably one of those monsters that wants to discount CNN because, oh, that's actually a great thing. It's not an insult at all. I mean, over and over again, you see this type of notion thrown out. Misogynists, MRAs, trolling of middle-aged, bearded, white nerd YouTube channels because they don't like specific movies. They go out, they share this kind of tripe over and over again. But of course, take me seriously. Now, while they're doing this, they decided that they would put a specific YouTuber on blast. They would show him his place. This was Hero Hey. You can see this right here. Due to a copyright takedown notice that we received, we had to take down your video from YouTube. Video title, Vic Bignana Anime News Network Interview Critique with Chat. Now you notice that this is a live stream. And again, looking at that, it met every fair use need out there. Unfortunately, the way that we have uh, set up with YouTube, yeah, doesn't really matter. They were allowed to go out and strike it. Then, of course, Hero Hey had to answer this, and they were allowed to either support this claim by pursuing litigation or back down. So, continuing, they note Anime News Network, Inc., took this down. That meant, of course, the video could no longer be played on YouTube, gave a copyright strike there, and, you know, with multiple copyright strikes, that can take your channel down. Now, one of the things that comes with that copyright strike anyhow, 90 days of sitting out, not being able to live stream, not being able to communicate with your audience, not being able to go out and really, as Hero Hey talked about it, it wasn't just covering something, but this, this is part of a long-term strategy for him to cover 
of these types of topics. Because while places like Anime News Network become relics, yeah, he wants to actually go out, consort with fans, and to tell them what's going on. Huh, terrible stuff there. After challenging this, after setting out for over two weeks, I believe actually 14 days, he managed to get this. Dear Hero Hey, in accordance with the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, we've completed processing your counter notification. The following video has been restored unless you have deleted them. So, this is telling you if you deleted the video, then that's okay. You know, if you've uh, deleted it, it won't be restored, but otherwise, it's restored to its full glory. Not because you took it down, it was taken out. No, because we gave it back to you. Now, Hero Hay decided he would post about this. Remember my strike by Anime News Network? Yeah, it's gone. We won the dispute. I want to give a huge thank to Nick Ricada for all the help. Also, infinite thanks to the I Stand with Vic community. Thank you so much for the word of support, and the backing and support, and many thanks to those who covered the situation and helped bring awareness. Noted a lot of people here. Sorry if I left anyone out. Now, what's interesting is you see how much time passes here. Days in Anime News Network, they decide in an official capacity to talk about this. If by quote-unquote won the dispute, you mean quote-unquote gave up and deleted the infringing video? Sure, whatever. We dare you to upload it again in the exact same format. We dare you to do it because if you do, we're going to go out and we're going to misuse that copyright system yet again. Wonderful idea wonderful way to go out and say, hey, why don't you cover topics out there? Because what these folks, they don't seem to remember is the fact that they were holding out the little cup the little begging cup saying, hey, if you like our content, then donate to us. You know, we need your help. Well, how do you think they get traffic these days? What exactly do you think drives people to them? Do you think that going out and doing hit pieces, that's the way they play? Temporarily, sure, that might work out for them. But what happens is you have this driver that comes off places like YouTube. When people talk about subjects that they cover. Other people, they'll look that up. They'll actually go to them. And what people were doing before this is they also weren't going in and uh, setting up archives. They were giving them click traffic. They were giving them that through ad money. Now, I wouldn't be caught dead utilizing any of their stuff. Oh, sure, I'll pull up an article, tell you exactly what it's about. I will paraphrase the thing, but I will not go through it, and I will not talk about what exactly is there, because these people, they misuse a system that's supposed to be there to make sure that their intellectual property is protected, but at the same time that you're allowed to talk about it, that you're allowed to critique it, and you're allowed to say, I disagree, but still, you're allowed to be out there at the same time. That's what journalism is supposed to be. You can have the volley and the return volley. You can also have the live and let live at the end of the day. But places like Anime News Network, they don't believe in that. If you think that that's the case, well, you're looking at this kind of stuff. Again, them talking trash anyhow. But beyond that, look at their coverage of the Vic Mignogna situation. Just look at the way that that transpired and all the issues that they had. They had to go in because they misrepresented pictures. They had to go in, and they had to change up that stuff. And at the end of the day, they're full of hate about that because people called them out for it. They took them to task for it, and they shamed them. So that idea of the Internet's most trusted source for anime news, don't make me laugh. All we have here is another outmoded relic that'll disappear in the end and has already forgotten its consumer. Much like niche media does all the time, you might as well go out and say, you know, anime viewers are dead because that's exactly what kind of a, a network you've become. 
one that thinks that they can move forward by bypassing the consumer, by bypassing these new standards, thinking that you somehow sales drive with the click view process. And yeah, it doesn't work. This too, when they say the removal request, standard removal type, uh, request submitted, request status resolved, video deleted by uploader. That does not mean that you deleted that. You had that done. No, you responded. You decided to not press the issue further. Hirohe got the video back, and then Hirohe decided to delete it so you wouldn't go out and misuse that system again. That's what browbeating and bullying looks like. That's who you've become. Congratulations. But then again, everybody that sees you out here covering this stuff, they know exactly who you are anyhow. But anyway, tell me what you think about this. So if you love that umbrella guy and want to help the channel out, make sure that you sub. Make sure that you hit that bell for daily notifications. Like the videos you like. Leave comments. And if you want to go further. Now, you don't have to do this. There is no obligation whatsoever. But say you love that umbrella guy and want to help out even more. There are links in the description. One of those is the case of the littlest umbrella. All ages love crafty and tell, plus another comic book. Essentially, you have a two-in-one here. One that was in a satirical laugh, poking fun at, well, all of the insanity that went on with another gate out there. And you have this as well. All of it, all ages appropriate, so you can have fun with it. You can look at it. Your kids can look at it. Everyone can enjoy it. That's what this stuff is missing. It also has one message. It says, hey, gatekeepers, we're going to do what we want to do. You, you can't stop us. I think that's what a lot of this messaging entails these days. When we look at these people, when we look at these old school networks, these old guard like this that tell us that you, you can't go out and you can't do your own thing, you smile and you laugh at them. You smile, you wave as you bypass them because, again, they're outmoded relics, thinking that they're actually someone. Yeah, you go out, you replace them by doing much better. But anyhow... You leave your comments on this, pro and con, tell me what you think about it, and as these people forget you, as they think they can disrespect you, as so many of them do, yeah, remind them, vote with your time, vote with your wallet, don't give them clicks, you don't have to, you can walk away from any of this stuff, walk towards other things too. Ones that respect you. Walk towards the hero haze out there, the people that actually remember that you you're important. I want to end this by saying you are indeed important here. You make this endeavor possible. So thank you. I appreciate you. And we'll be doing this again very soon.